हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉशी प्रॉब्लम फॉर अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर क्वासी लीनियर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस थ्योरेटिकली व्हाट इज कॉशी प्रॉब्लम फॉर अ जनरल फर्स्ट ऑर्डर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इन पर्टिकुलर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉशी प्रॉब्लम फॉर अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर क्वासी लीनियर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ इफ यू टेक द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर क्वासी लीनियर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देन अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर क्वासी लीनियर पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन लुक्स समथिंग लाइक दिस ए यू एक्स प्लस बी यू वाई इज इक्वल टू सी आई हैव डिस्कस दिस फॉर्म इन माई अर्लियर वीडियोज वेयर ए बी एंड सी आर फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड यू वेयर वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट एक्स एंड वाई आर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स एंड यू इज अ वेरिएबल विच इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन एक्स एंड वाई सो दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट पॉसिबल केस when you have that uh, in a partial differential equation there are two independent variables and there is a dependent variable which is dependent on these two independent variables so uh, when a b and c are functions of x y and u and uh, when a b and c satisfy this particular condition uh, that uh, a b and c these three functions have continuous first order partial derivatives with respect to their arguments in some domain d of the x y u space that is we are assuming that a b and c they can be differentiated these functions can be differentiated there uh, and they can be differentiated once and uh, they their derivatives are continuous and all this is happening in some domain d of the x y u space so we are working there are three variables actually uh this is the let's say this is the x axis this is the y axis this is the u axis and you are working in the x y u space and there is some domain d in the x y u space and everything is happening in this domain d so when this is the case when this is the background we are interested in finding out what is the cauchy problem for the first order quasi linear partial differential equation of this type now uh, when you are talking of a when you are talking of the cauchy problem for a first order quasi linear partial differential equation then the first thing that you need to have is a initial curve so uh, there there is a initial curve uh, which we are denoting by gamma which will, which is prescribed which would, which would be given to you already so uh, this curve is given in parametric form uh, and the three variables x y and u uh, these are uh, uh, these are dependent on some parameter or some unknown t so x is equal to x not t y is equal to y not t u is equal to u not t this is some prescribed curve which is called the initial curve and this curve is in the domain d under consideration where the parameter t is uh, lying between 0 and 1 and uh, also we are assuming that x not t y not t u not t are continuously differentiable functions. functions of t so this this assumption is being made the assumptions that are being made in this particular article are uh, just being made to ensure that cauchy problem has a solution also uh, so x not t y not t u not t are continuously differentiable functions of t which means that you can differentiate them uh, again and again and all the derivatives are continuous also we are assuming that this particular determinant uh, the determinant a uh, the value of a at x not y not u not the value of b at x not y not u not x not dash which is the derivative of x not with respect to t y not which is the uh, derivative of y not with respect to t this determinant Uh, when you open this determinant up uh, this is the this when you open this determinant this into this minus this into this so a into y not dash minus b into x not dash so this is the value that you have this is non zero this is what we are assuming explicitly when you write uh, x not as a function of t y not as a function of t u not as a function of t everywhere then this is the condition that we have so this condition we are assuming so uh, when you are talking of uh, the cauchy problem then you take a first order quasi linear partial differential equation Uh, of course uh, in the background i have already told that x and y are independent variables and u is a variable which is dependent on x and y and these uh, notations ux and uy have their usual meaning as i have uh, already told in my earlier videos but ux uh, just uh, uh, for those people who are new uh, to my lectures so ux uh, is given by del u by del x which is the first order partial derivative of u with respect to x and uy is uh, del u by del y which is the first order partial derivative of u with respect to y so when you have a quasi linear partial differential equation of this type where a b and c are uh, ha have continuous first order partial derivatives and if there is a initial curve uh, which is given to you and everything is happening in the domain d in the x y u space and uh, 
uh, the, the parameter t uh, everything is expressible in terms of the parameter t which is lying between 0 and 1 uh, the the variables are dependent on uh, x y you are dependent on the uh, parameter t or the unknown t and also you are assuming that this particular determinant is non zero then the question is that what is the cauchy problem for the first order quasi linear partial differential equation now uh, cauchy problem is simply the problem of uh, solving this particular equation a, a u x plus b u y is equal to c that is finding out the value of uh, solving this equation means that we are trying to find out the value of u is equal to u x y u as a function of x and y, but we are interested in finding out that value of u uh, u is equal to u x y which is not only a solution of this equation which not only satisfies this equation, but it is such that when uh, for x if you put the value of x as x naught t which is this prescribed value in the curve and when you put y as y naught t then what you should get back is u naught t where u naught t is the prescribed value of u here. So, this u naught t is called the initial data and uh, this whole condition this this uh, this this uh, curve is the initial curve as I have already told you, but uh, this is the curve in the x y u space if you take uh, this curve uh, in the x y plane because this is a curve in the x y u space if it is if you take its projection projection means taking a shadow of it. So, if you take a sh in, in layman's language it just means taking a shadow of this curve uh, gamma which is in the x y u space on the x y plane. So, if you take the shadow of this curve in the x y then it uh, simply becomes x is equal to x naught t and uh, y is equal to y naught t. So, this curve can be represented by c which I have written over here. So, uh, so given the curve, so instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, paying emphasis on gamma, we can uh, uh, just bring c into picture because c is nothing but the projection of gamma only. So uh, given a initial curve c in the x y plane, or given a initial curve in the uh, gamma in the x y u space, uh, this condition must be satisfied that when you put x as x naught t and when you put y as y naught t. Uh, the solution u must uh, give you back u naught t. So, u naught t should be equal to u of x naught t uh, y naught t. So, this condition must be satisfied. So, whichever solution u is equal to u x y uh, satisfies this particular condition that is the Cauchy solution of this uh, problem. So, this whole problem is called Cauchy problem and finding out its solution is called a Cauchy solution is, is, is equivalent to saying that we are looking for a Cauchy solution of this problem. And uh, because of the conditions that we have put uh, the assumptions that we have made. Uh, these assumptions uh, that we have made on uh, A, B, C and uh, uh, the, the determinant, these conditions ensure that the Cauchy problem has a unique solution. So, uh, this was uh, the Cauchy problem and uh, the Cauchy solution uh, of uh, the, the Cauchy problem. Uh, a few things that have to be remembered are uh, the first thing is that this, uh, uh, this, this condition, this condition is called the initial condition which I have already mentioned. Then uh, this uh, u naught t this is called the initial data and then this curve c uh, x is equal to x naught t y is equal to y naught uh, t this is called the initial curve and uh, the initial curve uh, and the initial condition everything is expressible uh, in terms of the parameter t, but uh, sometimes when you are actually doing the questions then uh, although here uh, everything is expressed in the form of a in, in terms of a parameter t, but sometimes while doing the questions uh, the, the curve c can be expressed in Cartesian form and the value of u might be given in Cartesian form. So, that is a different thing when we solve the questions then of course, we will come to that point, but this is the this is the initial condition u naught t is the initial data and uh, this curve c is the initial curve and uh, because of the conditions that have been uh, because of the assumptions that have been made in the Cauchy problem, uh, the Cauchy problem has a unique solution. So, that was all about Cauchy problem for a first order quasi linear partial differential equation.